I'm Jack Fisher with Delta Animal Solutions and I'm here today to talk to you about feed mixtures in the feedlot. One of the reasons that we use a mixture and a good mixture is to ensure that every mouthful uh, of feed that's placed in front of the cattle is going to be the same for every animal in the feedlot. And every time they go to the bunk they're getting the same level of nutrition. Often we're trying to deliver nutrients and medications in grams or milligrams per head per day. So adequate mixing or proper mixing is one of the is very important in this process. It's a critical control point of, of the whole cattle feeding operation. Uh, even the best formulated and best processed and best intentioned feed can be quickly undone by an improper job mixing. Uh, mixers can be found in, in vertical with vertical screws, with horizontal ribbon or horizontal augers. They can be truck mounted, pull type, or stationary like we see at the feed yard here today. When you're selecting a, a mixer for your operation, you want to look at a couple of things. One would be the cost of the mixer and how it fits into your operation, as well as the right capacity, uh, ensuring that you're sizing it appropriately to the number of cattle that you're trying to feed. When you're using your, your uh, mixer, you want to follow the recommendations of the manufacturer, as well as your nutritionist, to ensure that you're filling the, the the mixture wagon to the right capacity. You're pro following the proper sequencing of ingredients, usually the largest ingredient, largest to smallest, or sometimes changing things that up based on density, and then allowing for an adequate mix time from the last ingredient added to the mixture. A key component to the good mixing is, is proper maintenance and following a good maintenance schedule on the equipment, repairing things as they're wearing out, uh, one of the key things to a mixture too is, is having a good scale that's, in, that's calibrated and allowing your load cells to be free and clear so that they're getting accurate weights. To ensure that you're doing a good job, we do what's called a mixer validation and companies like BioAgriMix would work with you to help you in this process. It involves following the truck along and taking 10 samples evenly spaced as the truck is delivering feed to the bunk and then sending that away to a testing lab to analyze for a marker nutrient. You can do visual assessments with things like jelly beans or styrofoam balls, but it's not as accurate as doing a, a, a marker nutrient. When, you're, when you do those tests and you're looking for the amount of variation allowed in a mix, 15% uh, variation or coefficient of variation is, is the upper limit. Ideally, you'd be under 10, and some mixtures can get down to 3 and 4%, depending on the, di on the diet. The last thing when, you're, when it comes to mixtures is ensuring that as, you're, as that truck is feeding out, that at the last, as it's dumping the last bit of product, it is, in, it is cleaning out thoroughly and there's no feed from this mix carried over to the following mix. Particularly when you have a medicated feed like you would find with chlorotetracycline or other medications that have withdrawals, you want to ensure that none of that is carried over to the following, to following batch. So proper mixing is key to making sure that your cattle perform well, they stay healthy and they meet your, uh, they, they perform profitably. So I'm Jack Fisher and thank you for watching.